Hey girl, welcome. Come on in. Thanks for coming over. So yeah, I am totally running behind on like my evening routines and stuff like that. But it's cool, girl. We're gonna get it together. So you actually caught me um, at dinner time. It's seven o'clock. Usually their girls would be sleeping by now or at least laying down, but that's didn't happen today. Um, so it's cool because from seven to eight, that's my cleaning hour. So I'm gonna go ahead, get these kids fed. And while they're eating, I'm going to go ahead and be working on my routines and stuff so that I can still chill at eight o'clock. So I'm glad you're here. We have a lot of fun stuff that we're gonna do today. So first, like I said, I'm gonna get the kids fed. I'm gonna do my evening routines. And then I wanted to show you kind of the catastrophe that's been going on in my dining room. Um, yeah, we need to talk about hot spots and what happens when you don't take care of them and kind of what to do when they become too difficult to keep up with. So um, we can totally talk about that over some tea, you know, or whatever. Um, after we get the kids to bed. Look, look, look at this. Look at this. Okay, we gotta get these kids in the bed. I don't know why she keeps doing this. Hey y'all, thank you so much for tuning back into the channel. So I know I told you guys that I was trying to use my seven to eight o'clock hour for relaxing cleaning, but that was not the case for this evening. Um, this was more of a high energy, I need to get this stuff done kind of feel. And so um, that's what we're doing tonight. You know, sometimes as moms, things just don't go according to plan and, uh, you gotta multitask. And as much as I don't like multitasking, I feel like it kind of makes your life a little more stressful. That's what had to happen this night in order for me to be able to do the things that I wanted to do after eight o'clock, which is my kind of unofficial time to just be done and getting the kids in bed. So right now I'm working on my evening routines. You guys saw where I set my timer on my microwave for 15 minutes. And although it's not going to work out, you know, perfectly because I, I will have to clean and then attend to my kids and go back and forth. I just use that timer just mentally so I can just remember that doing this stuff is not going to last forever. It's just 15 minutes and then most of the mess is going to be taken care of. And then I can just finish off whatever needs to be done when the kids are in bed. And so you saw where I went ahead and start packing away leftovers. You guys saw me clear off my hot spots. You guys saw me swap out the dishes. And so the last thing that I like to ensure that I get to is a little bit of laundry. And so I had this small load that needed to be put away. So I just quickly ran and put it away. And so I think during this time, I still had time left on my timer, but I needed to just do some stuff for the kids again. I needed to get their milk. And then when the boys were done eating, I had them run over and put their toys away. And here I'm just getting the girls settled for bed. And so just making sure that they're nice and clean and fresh and ready to go into the bed. They've had their bath already. So I'm just doing the last minute things that need to be done to get them comfortable. My girls are sleep trained. So once I get them down and kind of tucked into their blanket, they usually go to sleep on their own from there. And so here I'm just doing some last minute touches, just a little bit of vacuuming. And since most of the work is done, I just went ahead and finished off by putting the last few dishes in the dishwasher. And now I'm done with my evening routine. All right, we are back in action. So um, yes, the real reason that you're here. Girl, we got some zone cleaning to do tonight, okay? Okay. This is the situation. Homeschool. Um, basically my dining table, I was doing so good, you guys, keeping my dining room table together and pulling it together every night. But then it just got to a point where it started to feel overwhelming for me. And um, what happens with hot spots is if an area looks cluttered, it just attracts more and more clutter. I don't know what, why, I don't know what study of science that is, but there must be some law out there that if you leave clutter to sit, it just attracts more because that's what happens predictably. So this table to me just kind of feels out of control and it's difficult for me to include it in my nightly routine because now it's taking more than 15 minutes. And the reason that this has happened is because we have all these new supplies that we're trying to um, like manage on a day-to-day -day basis. And so 
um, they don't really have a home, like a place to go. And so everything's just kind of getting shuffled on top of the table. And like I said, when things look chaotic, it's just like a sign for your family to just leave their stuff on there too, or just leave stuff that's not appropriate. So what I've done is I bought like a little rolly cart. We had a birthday party. I need to take that down. So I purchased um, this little rolly cart. It's in this Amazon box right here. So that's what I'm gonna do for zone cleaning today. I'm going to unbox this and try to assemble it as much as I can in 15 minutes. And then whatever I don't do today, I'll come back and zone clean another day and just continue where I left off. So um, let's go ahead and get started. So I know y'all didn't think y'all were gonna watch a whole vlog where I didn't have to bust out these headphones. Y'all, these headphones are my lifesaver. Like simply, I've just learned that when I have tasks that I just don't wanna do, music, podcasts, and audiobooks, that's what pushes me through. So on this day, I was listening to an influencer and she was talking about the importance of planning, which is like perfect timing for me because I know that planning is important, but I was just listening to her talk about it and how she approaches it. And it just inspired me to get my planning game together. It seems like the less time you have, the more important it is to plan. And so we're gonna be talking about that during my peaceful homekeeping challenge that's coming out this weekend. I'm gonna show you guys the things that I learned in my fly lady system about planning and how to make it easier for busy moms. So if you're interested in that, make sure you tune in on Sunday. We'll be doing a live conversation, um, 11 a.m. Central Standard Time. But anyway, back to the story. Um, so here, you guys saw that I was working on this thing, and right there, I just ran out of my 15 minutes. And so I was like, I'm almost done. I just need to screw the wheels on. So I just decided to go ahead and extend it by another five minutes just to screw the wheels on since I was almost done. And um, you guys, I really like this cart. Like, it, I feel like it's gonna be functional. And even when I'm done with virtual school, I feel like I'm gonna be able to use it to host guests with like snacks and drinks and things like that. Um, and I think it's gonna be very useful in the long run. <clears throat> I found that it was pretty easy to put together once I got started. And I just like the way it looks and I'm glad to have it. Hey, so it's done. It ended up taking me about 20 minutes, so. I have to decide what I want to do next. Sorry, are you okay? Didn't mean to drop you, my bad. Anyway, um, let me turn these headphones off. So yeah, I have to decide what I want to do next. Technically, my 15 minutes of zone cleaning are over. Um, I could, what time is it? Let me check. I have three minutes until eight o'clock. So um, I'm just gonna use my remaining three minutes until the boys go to bed to just kind of tidy this stuff up together. I'm not going to get too granular with the organization. I just want it off of the table, that's it. Um, and then in the future, if I feel like I need to divide things even more, like pencils over here, markers here, crayons there, manipulatives here, I can do that. But for today, I literally just wanna get it off the table. So I'm gonna spend the next three minutes doing that and then I'm gonna send my boys off to bed. So this project, I'm not gonna lie, it was a little challenging for me to like pull it back in and pull it to a close because I feel like I just wanna see the whole room pulled together. I wanna see those signs taken down. I want to just have everything organized, but I had to sing a song to myself to remind myself that tomorrow is another day. Progress, not perfection. Hey, progress, not perfection. Hey, progress, not perfection. Hey, progress, not perfection. Sing along with me, progress. All right, you guys, I'm done. I'm done. It's eight o'clock. Um, usually I don't spend my whole seven to eight o'clock hour cleaning, but since I wasn't on um, time today, kind of took longer than I thought, but that's okay because I've de dedi dedicated the hours between seven and eight to do this kind of stuff, to do the homekeeping stuff so that I won't feel like I'm drowning all the time. So I have my table back, so that's good. Um, I ended up just putting that little basket there, but I also have an office over here 
that I can roll it to so it won't be so obvious and like in the way, but that's where it's gonna go for now. I'll be zone cleaning in here again on Wednesday, Wednesday night. So when I come back on Wednesday, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take that happy birthday sign down, get rid of those balloons. And then this basket, what I've done for today is I've just put uh, my oldest son stuff, my middle child stuff, and then stuff that's kind of community for everyone. But I still have more stuff that upstairs that I haven't sorted through in terms of school supplies. And then I had stuff here off to the side that I need to go through. Some of that stuff they do need on a day-to-day -day basis. So that's what I'm planning to keep in this cart. And then stuff that it was intended to go to the school for a regular school that they don't need in a virtual environment, I'm going to package that stuff up and put it probably upstairs in their room and just save it for next year when they go back to um, in-person school. So I think pulling that stuff will make this feel much calmer. But um, I already feel better. <laughs> I already feel better. And um, now this table is going to be very easy to keep clean because we've found storage solutions for the stuff. And like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect on your first time. Um, in fact, most of my organi organization systems are not. I just make a little progress on them. And then every time I come back, I try to make it a little bit better. Yeah, so day zone cleaning day one is done. Zone cleaning day two, I'm just gonna take the balloons down, finish organizing that stuff, um, think about what I'm gonna do with that wall, and then zone cleaning day three. I feel like every time I add something like uh, decorations, it just makes the room look like different. So I'm going to sit down and order some curtain rods and uh, that's gonna be zone cleaning day three. So that's so cool. So um, I hope to see you guys in the next video. Talk to you later. Progress, not perfection. Eight, progress, not